Greetings, Divine Radiance. Hey, Capricorn, welcome. I am Nikila Ashad, Bashful Scott Life Sculpting. I'm a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor. And I am here to assist you with activating the divinity and wisdom within your soul so that you are empowered to create and live an abundant life. Okay, so listen, as I was introducing myself, let me tell you something. I did something that made me feel like I was an 80s rapper and I started to point it out then, but I was like, nah. I'm away. But anyways, this is your November general reading, Capricorn. And so what I'd like you to do is go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, welcome back. And be sure to comment. And not just at the end of the video, comment throughout the video. Let me know how it resonates. All right? All right. And if it resonates at all, like it. Thumb it up, up, this way, this way, up. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a goofball. Those of you that have been with me, you know this, but those of you that are new, okay, sit back, sit back, kick it, and enjoy the ride. Now, listen, first you got darkest fears, and this card came in reverse, right? Now, the reason why it came in, 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 I can't even speak today. The reason it came in in reverse for you is because what I am receiving is for some of you, you have chosen to overcome and release your darkest fears, right? For others of you, you've yet to do that, but you're being called to do that. And Spirit is letting you know it'll be so simple for you to do because now you have all this auspicious energy assisting you with releasing and healing. Now, what Spirit would like you to know, whether you are in that period of I've overcome these, these fears, I've released them, I'm moving and grooving from a place of fearlessness, or whether you are moving in spite of, this is what's happening for you right now. All of your dreams are coming true. So spirit would like you to know to not stop, to not wait, to not delay, to not procrastinate, to move. Keep moving because you've built the momentum. Those seeds that you planted are now ready to be harvested. And if you just leave them there, you know what happens. They're going to die, right? So it's time for you to go after all of those things that you've been manifesting, all of those things that you've been working on, because now is your time and now is your season. Okay, Capricorn? Now, as you're doing this, spirit would like you to find balance because you may be in this place where you're like, you know what? Ooh, full steam ahead. But then you're slacking on your self-care. You're slacking on your self-love. You may even be slacking on your sleep, right? And for some of you, you're slacking on how you're taking care of yourself by water, not drinking enough water. Spirit said, drink enough water, okay? But it, it requires you to create balance because as you elevate to these new levels, right? You are spirit's top priority, you and your well-being, not what you can do for the world, not what you can do for others, but you taking care of you and being at your optimal first. So if you aren't doing that, what you're saying to spirit is, I am not ready for more. You may be speaking of more, you may be dreaming of more, you may still be in lack a little bit and you may be wishing for more, right? But if you are not aligned with self-care, self-love, right? and being in balance, well, then spirit is not going to bless you with more. So if you've been doing all of the work to receive more, but it's not happening, spirit is saying this is why. So it's about you checking yourself about where you are on your journey as far as self-care and self-love, right? And balance to see if that's the reason. And if it is, reroute and just start taking better care of yourself, right? Okay, so I'm going to pull both of these cards at the same time. I'm going to show them to you. It's share the love and well-deserved reward. Now, notice this red and green, heart chakra, root chakra, right? Red and green, heart chakra, root chakra. And then you got throat chakra. Just letting you know, that's where we are with this, okay? But spirit would like you to get grounded, continue the heart healing and speaking your truth, right? And also allowing your voice to be heard, okay, Capricorn? Now, what Spirit would like you to do is share the love as in share the wisdom, share the knowledge and share the essence of you, right? You're very intelligent, you're very wise and you're very connected. So now it's time for you to share those things with others. Now, if you're on a, a job, right? And, and you're not working for self, but you have a career. Spirit is saying it's time for you to ask for what you deserve for. And as a matter of fact, asking is coming in more like a demand, a command, and not so much like you're going to your superior, your, your boss or whatever, your manager, and you're like, I demand, right? But it's more energetic. It's more standing firm and what you know you deserve and not taking no for an answer and being prepared to move on if they don't give that to you because everything is energy. And if you're not prepared to move on, if they don't give you what you deserve, they can feel that in your energy, right? But if they know that you have such unwavering faith and spirit that you will do what you must, 
to go where you're appreciated and to go where you're compensated for the work that you do, oh, they're going to feel that energy and they're going to bust some moves. And I'm hearing that song. If you want it, you got it. If you want it, baby, just bust a move. Ah, Remember that? Yeah, no, let me know if you remember it because it really depends on your age, you know. Oh, bow up over here, y'all. Anyways, so well-deserved reward. Now with this, as he's standing here, what it reminds me of is the message that Spirit just brought to you as far as standing your ground. Look, he's in the power pose. He's on the edge, but he is solid and firm. He's not afraid. He is fearless. He is confident and he is empowered and he knows what he deserves, right? So this is how you'll get your well-deserved reward, being that way, right? Being confident, being fearless, being courageous and, and being firm knowing what you deserve. Now we're moving beyond the career, right? This is in life in general, okay, Capricorn? So spirit is telling you to connect to that version of you that shows up like this and to show up like that, right? Because those rewards, you deserve them, right? And it's about you knowing that. If you've been doubting yourself, spirit says, stop it. Like, cut that out, right? Because you deserve it. So when you can walk into a room any room, knowing that you deserve to be there, knowing that what you have to offer is valuable and that you are the only one that brings to the table what you bring to the table, you're going to change from the inside out, right? And that's what's required of you right now. So overall, Capricorn, great job. Keep up the great work. Implement these things. Let me know in the comments if you're going to implement them and let me know how you feel about this reading. You know, how does it resonate? What areas of your life does it resonate? Is it career? Is it love? Is it finance? Is it friendship, family, like where does it resonate? Let me know, okay? I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. And I don't know if I told you this in the beginning, but this message is timeless. So although this is your November reading, if it's for you, it doesn't matter when you watch it, it will resonate, okay? I've set that intention. So thank you again for being here, for subscribing, for allowing me to serve you. And I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.